Welcome back, everyone. Going into hour number three here. Let's see if Jeff gets himself killed. <laughs> okay, so we uh, yeah we fade back in on that that moment of this this guy coming over, kind of like cleaning his uh, cleaning his pipe out and looking up at um, uh, at uh, Janice and uh, yeah, and he, he sees you and kind of squints a little, and he says, um, "Huh, hello, friend. And where are the two of you off to?" He says two of you, and I like. Yeah, no, <laughs> nobody else around. I am. Uh, I'm here by myself. He uh, he nods and uh, looks around. And he says, "I don't think anyone has seen you, aside from myself, of course." I noticed that. I appreciate you um, being discreet. What can I do you for? I'm curious. Where are you going? Kind of look at him. <clears throat> I'm getting, you know, the vibe that he's uh, something special of a person in the sense that he knows what he's, you know, he, he picks me out of the dark. Nobody else can see me. He's got these tattoos. He's, uh, you know, just kind of the way he conducts himself. Mm -hmm. And I say, um, I'm just, uh, I'm just here to retrieve one of these. I kind of hold up, looking up at the gauntlet and say, needs to go back to the people I work for and then we're going to be on our way. He, uh, yeah, he looks at it and he kind of clicks his tongue. He's like, oh, I've seen those before. That's a shame. So you're here on a mission from your masters. Aren't we all? <laughs> he laughs and, and nods and says, uh, <laughs> yes, not one of us are free. I think I'm more free than you. It's a matter of perspective, but I think you might be right. So you're here for the body, the one they found yesterday. They can keep the body. We just, uh, but yes, the, what I'm, what we're after is uh, on him. It stirred up quite the hornet's nest. They sent an envoy north to the monastery. This place will be swarming with monks in a few days. I appreciate that intel. You came from the forest. He like looks back. I did. Did you and your friends encounter anything unusual there? We did. And uh, I would like to repay the kindness you have given me, but you'll have to understand, we're not entirely sure what it, it was we're dealing with. It could be very well your own creation, as far as I know. He shakes his head and says, no, not mine. These things come from someplace else. I'm curious about them, though. I'm going to choose to take your word on that. We, uh, we saw some people that had some kind of enchantment. It's not my area of expertise, but from listening to smarter people than myself, it sounds like uh, not quite necromancy, but something of that ilk. These beetles, these constructs take over a man. He, uh, he nods and, uh, and says, uh, well, everyone needs workers. Yeah, but that's a really fucked up way to get a worker. <laughs> he laughs. He says, uh, well, I, I think you'll see in time, it's only the beginning of the uh, fucked up things that are to come. I had a feeling. He, he looks down at the, the shackle on your wrist and, uh, and he says, um, just be sure you're not uh, tied down when the flood comes. Harder to swim away then. Yeah, I appreciate you saying that. Uh, it's definitely something that's on my mind. Yeah, he nods. And he looks around uh, and, uh, and he says, um, uh, a man such as you, if they do catch you, I think we'll have no trouble with the guards in this town, but you don't like to kill though, do you? No. He nods. I prefer not to. That's good. Try to keep it that way. And he looks back over his shoulder and uh, at the tea house and uh, he says, um, I'll be staying here for the time being if you wish to speak again. I think uh, the labor that we've discussed has me leaving quite early, but I have a feeling that our paths will cross again. And I want you to know that 
I'm a pretty instinctual guy. I've got a good feeling about you and I appreciate the help. If there's any chance that I can repay it, you uh, need only ask. He, uh, he laughs when you say you, you've got like a good feeling and he says, that's, that's something I haven't heard in a long time. I put most people off. Well, as a, I'm a Sunya myself and I would tell you that I, maybe that's, maybe that's what's linking me to you, but I feel a camaraderie here. I, I haven't got along with people throughout my life either. Yeah. Yeah. He, he smiles uh, a little and, uh, and he says, um, well, good luck with your errand. I nod and then just kind of step back. Okay. Yeah. He turns around um, and he starts uh, he starts whistling uh, a tune to himself. And you, Janice, you wouldn't recognize it, um, but people uh, watching as an audience uh, would recognize the song uh, as the last time we heard it was in a, um, a, a palace some time ago before some very bad things happened. Um, and so he's whistling this, this sort of court of swords, uh, like courtly song to himself and like putting more tobacco into his pipe and walking back to the tea house. Nice. And then I, yeah, I think uh, I just make my way to the point. Okay. All right. Um, so you, uh, yeah, you sneak up and you see this, this tool maker's shop. Uh, it's, it's obviously closed. Uh, there's a, uh, a, a dog, uh, asleep on the ground outside <laughs> and, uh, yeah, the windows are, the windows are shuttered. Okay. I think with the dog, I, um, you can tell me if this is restricted or not, but I did describe hunting at some point throughout the trip, but I also talked about not salting it per se. So if there's any meat scraps or something that I was able to obtain earlier when we've made camp, I think I would try to use that now to appease the dog yeah yeah you've got some like i don't know some jerky or something like you that's that's fine yeah so i'd kind of like again from a hiding spot but i'd kind of hold it out and uh like wag it a little bit and put it out there yeah the dog the dog wakes up uh, when you get closer and sniffs the air and then starts to growl at you and then when you when you take out the food um why don't you make a make an animal handling roll uh i'll give you advantage okay it uses wisdom 22 okay yeah so the dog yeah, it takes it. And you can see his tail wagging and starts chewing on this, uh, this this piece of uh, this piece of jerky and flops back down uh, and just like chews on it and kind of ignores you. Okay, then I think um, situation permitting is would I be able to make my way to the front of the shop without too much light being on me? Um, yeah, yeah. There's no there's no light in the shop and they don't have like a lantern hanging outside. The shop's closed. Okay, then I would use my thief's tools which i believe includes a lockpick to try to make my way in okay yeah um go ahead and uh go ahead and make that that test i think it's uh it's like a dc dc 13 for this lock dc 13 so i'm just gonna do a d20 into the uh it's your it's your actual tool on your uh on your sheet on so, the bottom left hand corner of the sheet i think yeah bottom should left. be where it's at yeah thieves tools right there oh i'm i've got a plus eight in it. okay yeah with advantage there's no 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 advantage but so fail. it's it's yeah it's a fail it's not that you can't do it it's that i'm gonna i'll let you do it but so here's the thing you um you're, you're working the, the lock <laughs> click it open um and uh when you like when the door swings open uh you can see inside the there's a, a you know the tool maker shops there's benches with these like iron uh, these steel tools on them uh, chisels and saws and what have you um, but right across you from you uh, in the uh, in the room, there's a uh, there's a guard uh, sitting on a uh, on a chair, and when the door clicks open, you see him stand uh, and he, he draws a sword and uh, and he says um, he doesn't he hasn't seen you yet, but he says like who's there? Um, situation permitting again, Adam. Mm. <laughs> I think my best call would be to try to silence him with a one shot. Yeah, you want to try and try and take a shot at him? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you can you can I guess you're. Yeah, you'll so have squatting to, below the door. You know? You'll have to you'll have to make an initiative roll because you don't have your bow in hand, right? Okay. You just open the door, the door swung open a little bit, and then this guy is like startled. He was guarding the uh, guarding the room. Okay. Um. So yeah, let's let's see if you can beat him in initiative. You can take that shot. I got a twenty-four. Damn. Oh. 24. 
Okay, yeah, you're much faster to react. So you grab your bow, grab your arrow. Um, he's wearing Jeff takes um, a swift shit before he attacks this guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's wearing a, like a chain shirt. Uh, so if you want to hit him, it's uh, it's going to be a 14 or better. Uh, okay. So um, mechanically, why? I mean, I think this could work narratively as well, seeing as how he doesn't necessarily know that I'm there. I'm going to use my ability to go into hiding. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can try and uh, you can try and hide. Let's do an oppose. Okay. Uh, post check. So his perception is, it's only a 12, <laughs> 25, 25. Okay. Jesus. Yeah, no problem. So all, all he sees is the door like swing open slightly and he's like, what's going And he like starts to stand up and then you've already got an arrow knocked and you have advantage. Uh, so do you want to advantage? Do you want to do the, the harder shot or? Yep. I'm doing the power shot. Okay. All right. I think that's, the, what makes the most sense here to try and silence him sure 15 okay um so oh, minus five though yeah so 10 so uh nope. you you fire uh and you hear uh you hear a thunk but it's the uh the arrow hitting his armor so it, like hits him in the in the shoulder and kind of deflects off and thunks into the wall uh and then he sees you um and uh, I think he throws himself behind a counter because he realizes you've got a, a weapon, uh, and he, he shouts uh, and uh, see, he shouts someone's name. Uh, he says he's like, "Now there's someone at the door! Alarm! Wake up!" And then you hear like boots like thump on the um, uh, uh, on the the floor in the room behind him, and you hear like rustling uh, as like he's waking up some other people. Uh, what do you want to do? I am gonna leap over the counter and while you know pulling out my rapier and. Go at him. Yeah, you wanna you wanna rush at him. Yeah. Okay. All right. So you uh, yeah you, you rush and, and like jump over the counter. Let's have you make a um, uh, acrobatics or athletics roll to to vault the counter. It's only gonna be D, uh, DC ten. Okay. Sorry. One second. Looks like I lost my sheet here. Where did that go? Let's pull it out over here. Oh, there it is. Okay. Um, athletics. You said. Or or acrobatics, whichever you prefer. Acrobatics, I think. Okay, so yeah, you're, you're gracefully gonna vault. Uh, twenty-two. Okay, yeah, no problem. So you, you vault over it, land on the other side. Um, now he's he's holding he's holding an action, so he's gonna take a swing at you. Um, but then you can uh, you can attack him. So okay. let's uh, let's see. Let me pop out his character sheet. He's just a simple guard. I'm scared. <laughs> so he's got. Uh, he's got a plus three to hit. Uh, I'm not using the sheet because it's got guards have spears, so I'll just roll manually. Mm -hmm. No. Nope. 14. Okay. So he's he's like startled. It's dark. There's this dark shape that's just fired an arrow at him, and then you're like running right behind the arrow, rapier drawn, leap over the counter. He lunges at you with his scimitar. It flashes in the dark, uh, buries itself in uh, the wood of uh, of the, like one of the, Posts of the building right next to him, and then you're you're right there in front of him, uh, and you can you can make an attack. Nope. Okay. All right. So you uh, you you jab out at him, and um, yeah, he pulls his uh, pulls his sword from the wall and and <laughs> interposes it between the two of you. And this whole time he's shouting, he's like, "We have an intruder! There's someone trying to kill me! Help!" Um, and uh, yeah. So do you want to? You still got the rest of your turn. You can take a bonus action. You can disengage if you want to. If you want to like run for it or uh, I guess that's kind of it, right? Like, there's like a door next to me, right? Where presumably this leads up to where the noise there's is. Two, there's two doors. There's, yeah, there's a door that leads into the back of the shop and ostensibly where the shopkeeper like lives. And then there's the front door you just came in. Um, no, I, I think none of my bonus actions I would use right now. I'm just gonna attempt to again, kill him on my turn. Okay. Um, so he'll get another attack on you. Um, and... Uh, it gets a 17. That's a hit. Okay. So let's see. He's got a short curved sword. Uh, so you take uh, three damage. Okay. Yep. So he slashes the sword, slashes you for three. Um, and then you can go and you can hear someone uh, or someone's like on the other side of the door, like they're about to, to break in. You'll get one more action and then uh, the door will open from the back room. 14's a hit, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, 14 hits. Uh, all right. 11, no, I don't get sneak. Yeah, it's just eight. 
Okay. So, all right. So you, uh, yeah, you stab him. Uh, you find a, a spot where his armor isn't isn't protecting him. Uh, maybe like in his thigh or something. Hey, I jab your sword in. Um, there's a, a gout of blood spills out on the floor. He shouts in surprise and grabs his leg, um, but he isn't uh, he isn't down. Dead. Yeah. Uh, so he uh, takes one last uh, swing at you before his friends uh, come in the room. He misses. You you duck easily out of the way, uh, and then the door opens and you see uh, two more guards. Uh, coming into the room, and then behind them, there's a kind of confused, s- s- scared-looking, um, like peasant, a, sh- a shopkeeper, uh, and uh, he's like peering over the guards as these other two guards come into the uh, into the room. Okay. What do you want to um, do? They're gonna... they're about they're about sixty feet from where you are. Oh, they're sixty feet. They're on the other side of the room. Yeah. Big ass shop. Okay. Um, I'm gonna kind of like notice them. And it's still dark in here, right? So they don't necessarily... They see Yeah, they, they see that he's point. fighting someone, but really the, the easiest thing to see is the sort of flashing of the, uh, of the swords and the light that's coming through, okay. uh, through the window that's open on the side. I'm going to attempt to finish this guy. Like I, I see he's in pretty bad shape, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. One more good stab ought to put him down. 18. Okay, yeah. yeah, you hit him. 10. Yeah. Okay, yeah, you, you definitely kill him. So I think I like see the guys coming in mm-hmm. and like pull my sword out and I just poke it through uh, his forehead. This is not a decapitation, by the way. Okay. Uh, just staple him to the wall basically and then pull it back out. And then with my bonus move or action, and again, you, I haven't done this, so you tell me what my limiting factor is, but I'm going to try to um, move away from the body into some kind of cover of sorts. You can dash, disengage, or hide. So um, hide. Yeah, so you want to just try to hide somewhere in the shadows of the room? Yep. Okay. Kind of self-check yeah. Or... yeah, definitely. Cool. It's weird that you didn't get a decapitation. Ooh, oh, just boy. Only a nine. You got a nine. So let's let's roll for them. So yeah. they're like, uh, you kill this guy just fast. Just like snap out like a scorpion's tail. Uh, hmm. needle, needle sword through his face. He drops to the ground. Um, and, uh, and the two of them, uh, you, you can see now they've got crossbows. Uh, one of them is like, find him. And they, they, the two of them start to spread out looking for you in the room. Okay. So let's, let's see if they can, uh, if they can find you. Mm-hmm. Yep. 10, just barely. All right. So yeah, one of them's like, find him. The other one's like, there he is. And he t- fires the, um, the crossbow at you. I'll give you, uh, I'll give you cover though. Cause you're like, okay. ducking, uh, amid the, uh, uh, amid the shelves. Um, so you hear the, the snap of a, a crossbow uh, and an arrow uh, coral lens because you have an AC what? 17. 17. No, or no, 16 base, but with cover to 17. Yeah, yeah. So uh, he fires at you. Um, it would actually be 18 with cover, so you're, okay. you're well fine. So there's a, the snap of the crossbow. Uh, the coral boonk, hits the, the wood near you. Uh, the other one uh, turns uh, and fires. Um, I'm thinking the same effect. Yeah, same thing. So they both fire at you, but, but no hit. Um, and, uh, now you can, you can take an action. You're only about 30 feet from the door you came in, uh, mm-hmm. and you're, you're about 60 feet from them. Yeah. And it's, it's a big, it's a big open, uh, kind of space. There's lots of the hide under, um, and it's all kind of waist level or lower. Okay. Uh, and then there's the door, uh, the door at the back that they came out of. I'm going to move towards the door while attempting to stealth, um, just, just in like the name of security so that no one can run out and I, I can, if I need to. Okay, so what do you uh, what do you want to do? You want to try to hide again, and then move. So I'm going to enter into stealth to do my power shot. Is is mechanically what I'm describing. Oh, okay. So you're going to use your bonus section to hide, and then yes. another attack. Okay, sure. I'm just saying for our mind's eye, it's, I'm hiding towards the door. If you're not going to allow that, that's fine. But well, you is... can you can do three things, right? You can hide with your cunning action. You can move, and then you can you can fire, right? You and that's can... what I'm doing. Yeah. Okay, so you're taking your bow out as you move. Jesus. Christ. Oh yeah, you're. There's no. I'm not even going to bother rolling. There's no way they could find you. You turned into okay. myth. Yeah. So this, with advantage then and it's not a sneak attack though because there's no one near him is that right uh if you have advantage it always is deal sneak attack cool yeah. so with advantage oh uh no you just Dude, barely miss. <laughs> i feel like everything you do is so amazing and then you pull out a weapon you're like burr, i hit myself <laughs> in the face look at these reds i've rolled one three <laughs> yeah. times in my last four rolls. i know it's incredible man it so i missed this 13 with advantage but it so was you a- yeah you 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 duck into hiding 
snap out your bow, fire an arrow. Uh, it, it sails past the guy, hits the ceiling. Uh, that gives them the opportunity to see you again. Now, you still have your move. The door is 30 feet. Behind cover as well. The, the door is 30 feet away. Okay, you just want to, like, stay, stay under cover? Yep. Okay, all right. So uh, two, two crossbow shots. Um, uh, one Ooh. of them tags you. Mm-hmm. Um, the other... Uh, no. The other misses. I think maybe in this intense action, it cuts back to us, and I'm like, "Bird, is, did you hear that bird? Did was that a bird calling?" Take ten bird? damage? <laughs> no, it, that would be if it was a crit. You only take five. Uh, Bird's like just stroking his other, just like kind of playing. Uh, same thing. I'm gonna again attempt to hide. Okay. Yeah. So so one of them fires at you. You duck out of the way. The other one fires and and tags you as you're moving between uh, between cover. Um, yeah, you're 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 hidden. No problem now. I'm gonna fucking power shot again. <laughs> 16's a hit. Um, well, the no, power it's minus five. Minus five, so it's an eleven. So yeah, you're just like pulling as hard as you can on the bow, but firing uh, inaccurately. Um, yeah, I think it. I think that the arrow flies and and like hits a it's a tray and knocks some some metal tools all over the floor. Yeah, I don't need to power um, shot. I'm gonna do a normal shot next. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, and then again, you you can move so you can stay in cover, but you you know. Uh, yeah, same thing. I stay in cover. All right. Moving towards the door, but you know. Okay. All right. Um, so I think because they can see you, um, they, they're they starting to move up towards you. So they're like 30 feet away from you now mm-hmm. um, with the intent. Like you can see one of them starting to go around the door to like block your way out. Okay. Um, but on this turn, uh, they're going to take shots with the crossbow. Nope. Uh, miss. And nope. they another miss. Jesus. Okay. I've never seen this, Adam roll. This <laughs> room is just getting fucking destroyed. Yeah, it's like there's a gunfight in the room. So there's always like corals flying around. I think they fire one that like breaks a window. Uh, I hide again. <laughs> this time like, he doesn't pull back on the fucking bow as hard as he was. It's the crossbow equivalent of that scene from The Matrix. They're just fucking firing arrows. The walls are blowing up. Um, okay, so this time is a regular shot. 13. Uh, 13. <laughs> not not enough. So you fire another arrow. <laughs> bounce off the armor. Maybe oh, you're just, oh my god. Look, maybe just stand up and be like, guys, guys, let's just let's just make a piece. I'll get what I need. I'll walk out of here. <laughs> I'll stop fucking nope. up your home. <laughs> Go ahead, shoot back. Okay. Uh so now uh one of them gets around another they're on either side of you. One is on the blocking the door, and the other one is like looking through the aisles trying to find you. Um, and then when you pop up to fire your, your cross, they both both shoot at you. Nope. And let's see if either oh. hit you. Nope. <laughs> nope. Some more just Incredibly, like... he's not been hit. <laughs> wow. Okay. I try to hide from the one, I mean, all of them, but the one close. To... God, are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> you freaking <laughs> twice in a row. Dude, Dude on that's, <laughs> that's three, three crits in the past oh, four fuck. rolls, with the 25 is the other one. Yeah, <laughs> the one closest to me, Adam, with advantage, with sneak, and 24. I get a twenty-four. There you go. Okay, yeah, you hit him. So Jesus damage plus damage plus Christ. sneak attack takes twelve damage. All right, you kill him. So is this the one by the door or? I said closest to me, so it's your. They're they're both about the same distance. The, the door, door, then I guess, is because I want to get my exit secured. Yeah, so you turn around to the door, snap out an arrow, hits the guy in the throat. He grabs it gurgles, blood spills down his chest, and he falls on his back. Uh, you can see a clear shot now at the open door, and he just kind of falls and knocks the door open. It's like hanging there. Um, and then uh, the other the other guard uh, fires his, his crossbow at you uh, and crits you. Uh, this one uh, deals you... Oh, God. You <laughs> oh, might be God. down. Let's see. Yeah. 12, 14 damage? Yeah, I'm down. You're down? Okay. All right. So that's the last thing you see. You turn around, snapshot this guy, and then you hear a click behind you. You manage to turn around, and then thunk, there's the fletching of a coral sticking out of your ribs. Sudden sharp pain, and then darkness as you thunk. And before he falls, he goes, Skira! Skira! <laughs> not, with a, not with an arrow in his chest, he doesn't. So how long has it been, Adam, since our faithful rouge? Yeah. Time, time passes. Time passes. Um, well, we don't want. I mean, there you would, let me know how I, long. I knew how long it took me to get in there as yes. a cat. There will be there will be uh, uh, an infinite amount of time between now and when you see him again, unless you do something. So you tell me how long you wait before you how, start thinking. Like, I was there. Hmm, uh, you said I was gone for an hour as a cat. Uh, yeah, about like one length of of shapeshift. So in and out, 
as a cat. Okay. Um, so you so, tell me how long you ate. But before you do that, I'm going to consider your, your period of unconsciousness, uh, uh, Janice, here. I'll give you your XP for killing those two guys. Um, so if you do survive, you'll have some little bit of bonus XP over everybody else. Um, a guard is worth, let's see here. And you get it all to yourself, too. Motherfucker. Let's see. Uh, so you get 50, you get 50 experience. 50 okay. XP for taking yeah. those two guys out before um, you get. I think... I <laughs> 30 wow. minutes passes, Adam. Do we hear anything? No. I I think at that point, I mean, character-wise, it we knew, Janice knew where he was going. I thought I did a hell of a job telling him what was going on. Something's got to be up because all he had to do was get in there, get it, and get out. And, I don't think that's a stretch. I also had a conversation that we're not planning on. Yeah. 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 True. So I, I think thirty minutes, and I turn to to I turn to Berg and I go, Berg, what do you? And I turned to Ram, Ramus, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Ramus, what do you think? It's been thirty. Are we going in? I, I'm curious. What does Berg think? You asked him uh, first. Don't be rude. How long has it been? Yeah, it's been I, a. It's, Look, I, I don't have I don't have any I don't have a time telling piece. All right? It's a quarter past worried right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look, I, here here's a I could go in by myself because that's worked out so far, but I could go in as another animal. Maybe the same cat. If that dog's there though, we're gonna have to fight. <laughs> and maybe I like lick my hand like a cat does. I'm like, sorry, yeah. sorry, it's it's weird. <laughs> yeah. well, I can't I, stop. I worry that if he's been ambushed, that you'll suffer the same fate. But I'm a cat. Um, if you go by yourself. Uh, okay, so the other option is the three of us go in there together. We say, get the fuck out of our way. And we just bust in. And, I, and maybe I like lean over and say, that guy up there is going to see us the second we try to approach. Pointing toward the person in the, the guard tower. But we got to. <clears throat> time's a wasting, boys. Berg is uh, not the most stealthy. This this is true. Uh, I say we go in together. Okay, two things. Guard any sense of insignia on your body. And put something over the, the bracelets. Wrap something around it. Hell, take your shirt okay. off, Berg. I don't care. Try to hide these gorgeous pieces of jewelry. <laughs> hide your swag. Yeah, and so we we wrap, I wrap either some shirts or something around the uh, the bracelet, and then uh, may, may, I, I'm, and then I say, we, follow my lead. We have two options: we could sneak in, or we could be travelers on the from the road. I was about to say we play the drunk act, walk into a building, we think it's our home. Yeah, they they have to have an inn around here. They do. And the inn was relatively near the place we're going, right? It's like right, yeah, right across. Look, the we're drunk. It can be wherever the fuck we think it needs to be, Ramus. Why not get actually drunk? I, just, I we both turned to him, <laughs> and I turned back. It'll be no problem. They'll just think he's done. Yeah, it'll be great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I go, okay, all right, we're going in, and maybe I start to like wobble a little bit, and be like, all right. I, I have a little bit of inspiration here. Take a swig of this so the liquor's on your breath. Okay. Yeah. I have some really good uh, ale from the Court of Wands okay. in my pocket. I take, nice. a, take a swig. Yeah, I'll take a swig. Yeah. Okay. And then I think we kind of drunkenly stagger in towards this building. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, let's let's get uh, let's get a, a performance roll, I guess, from oh, you to God. pretend you're drunk. I th does anyone have good charisma at all besides Janice? Mm -hmm. Oh, yep. Ramus is at plus three. Does. Uh, <laughs> oh, God, you're at minus two. I'm at yeah, minus yeah. one. I'm a minus one on charisma. Yeah, I was going to say, have you noticed how Dan is playing this character? Very low charisma. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 sorry. I looked at your wisdom. people is not my thing. Yeah. All right. Well, use inspiration if you have it. I am going to use the blessing oh. of the gods to help me be drunk. I have inspiration. I'll use it. I'll, I'll use, use my guidance. inspiration too. Dear God, help me pretend to be drunk. So God, help me be drunk. 
<laughs> you get advantage on your roll. Okay. Here we go. Performance, right? Yeah, yeah it's performance. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Good. A three, a six. Fantastic. Well, uh, here's 17. 17. And where do you where did you get Jesus. the Ramus? Where that where's that advantage coming from? Say what? Oh, oh no, he rolled a six. So we rolled a three, yeah, a got, six, and an eight. A three, a three, a, six, a ten, and a three, a and ten, then, and an eight. Yeah, okay. Ramus got a, a bonus. So Okay, good, good. Berg, can you can you please, Max, tell me what Berg failing to pretend to be drunk looks like? <laughs> Berg's kind of, are we like making our way right now? Yeah, we're 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 sure you're headed towards the town. I, I really want to hear what a three for Berg. We look like we <laughs> probably look like actual zombies, just like <laughs> just yeah. shouting at people. I am drunk. <laughs> I am drunk. Berg is literally like walking, like trying to stumble. He's like catching himself a little bit. Then he walks normally for a little bit, and then walks like stumbles a little bit more. Like <laughs> wow, good ale that was. <laughs> <laughs> I want another. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's that type of shit as we walk our way towards the building. Okay, so uh, you're making Ber- Berg at least is making noise uh, enough, and you're you know you're kind of your armor is like rattling a little as you approach, and the the guard in the little guard post as you as you approach the light, you hear a voice from from above, uh, a woman's voice say, "Hold hold on there, who goes?" Another come, round. Come I just start screaming. Another round, please. Where is the bar? We need a drink. <laughs> so yeah, you, there's this really bad. <laughs> there's this pool. This pool of light. Uh, you can't see her because uh, she's got the the lantern kind of pointed down. And uh, yeah, and she's she's like shouting for you to like come step out and light so she can see you. Well, I, I think it's over there. And we just like ignore what she's saying and walk <laughs> to the building. At least okay. I do. I don't know if we do. So yeah, that- you, you start walking. Do you, do you walk into the, cause like to get through the, the road, there's the, like the pool of light or do you avoid it or you walk through it? I just need to know if she, she ends up being able to see you or if I, you're just shadows. All of, around. All, look, I'll avoid it. Maybe I walk, maybe, maybe the drunk stagger is literally me just walking in the exact path <laughs> outside of it. So it doesn't <laughs> yeah. look drunk at all. On the edge of it. Okay. Yeah. Um, you, you hear like armor and stuff rattling like underneath, like there's a guard at the, at the foot of the uh, thing and you can see him holding a, a, a spear uh, and he, he kind of steps towards you and puts his hand out and he's like, hold on there. And like looks at the three of you. Is it a yeah. is it a crime to walk him out the night? And he, he shakes his head and, and he says, "No, but it's late for travelers, and uh, you three look lost." Berg is drunk. We're drunk. Do you you have an inn around here? We need a place to sleep. Berg is tired. My friend here gets really angry when he doesn't get his sleep. And he he looks up, uh, uh, and and we can see the shadow of the of the the guard above, uh, looking down, watching. And uh, he says, um, he says, "There's a uh, there's an inn just inside town. I'll take you there." And he, he gestures to go, to go yeah. ahead of him. You're that's so nice of you. Oh my eyes, this town is awesome. <laughs> and I, in my head, it's um, it's that meme right now that's going around where you see all the math fucking happening and shit. Yeah. And then I'm just like, N does not equal blacksmith. <laughs> I'm like, what? When he says that, Berg's just like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm really I'm trying, trying to sell it. <laughs> Yeah, so he uh, he he stands behind, kind of behind you a little bit, and is like, "It's just over this way, gentlemen." And uh, and so it's kind of like leading you towards this little two-story building, and you can see that, like I said before, it's one of the few that still has its lights on. You start to hear the the humming uh, chant of the uh, of the temple as you get closer to the center of town. Um, and uh, and he says, um, as you're walking, the the guard's like, "So, where are you three from?" Was he in front of us? He's behind you. Yeah, I was gonna say there's no way he's in front of us. I I maybe stop and just like I we're in the middle of the road, right? 
Yeah, you're just like walking down the street. Is there people all around? No, no, because it's nighttime, so mostly people have gone to gone to sleep. Okay. I step off to the side of Tiny Pit out of the, the main path and just like start trying to take a piss. Okay. Yep. So you just like walk over and unlace your britches and yeah. begin to pee in the street. Yep. Um and I think that when you start to do that, he's like, Hey, hey, you can't do that. And he like takes a step towards you to like try to find a way to stop you without like getting in the way of you peeing on him. How far away are we from the guard tower? Um, oh, you're, you're, you're a ways off now. You've been walking for five minutes or so. So we're the only people in this air, general area? Uh, that you can see. Um, yeah. And he turns his back towards? The other two. The yeah, other Burke two. And Ramis, yeah. Okay. I was, uh, sorry. Too many. Too much I, beer. I, guess, I think Berg's like looks at, at Ramus. Uh, <laughs> like I, I, Ramis I look at Ramus and uh, I point at him yeah. and I'm like. <laughs> 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 and, and real quick, Berg's just like, <laughs> and I nod, yeah. <laughs> like asking, "Do I kill him or keep him alive?" <laughs> Why would I put my finger to his throat? <laughs> <laughs> Why would I put my finger? <laughs> so yeah, are you, you like the two of you have this this moment, and the guy's trying to pull like uh, Gideon Berg away just from takes him. out his yeah. sword super fast and just trying to long sword his head off. Okay. All right. He was uh, just told to kill. <laughs> let's. So this guy knows you're faking being drunk, uh, so he's he's on guard already. <laughs> what, Adam? So, I mean, come on, a ten. <laughs> I rolled a literal Listen, one. Well, no, I at the very at the very at the very like best case scenario, he knows that Ray, he doesn't know if Ramus is actually drunk, but he knows the other two. But let's let's roll. Let's roll his wisdom. Maybe I'll roll worse than you. If I can, I can't get a zero, but he knows Gideon isn't drunk. Yeah. Uh, okay. Hey, he thinks I'm I'm real. I'm the real deal. Yeah. So he thinks he doesn't think Berg is drunk. So he's he's keeping an eye on you. But that's Berg's also kind of stupid. So yeah, exactly. <laughs> so it's like eh. I'll give you. You know what? All right, he got a seven. I'll give you advantage. I roll I roll real poor on that. I'll give you advantage on this attack. Okay. Go ahead and go ahead and do it. Just give her. He's got dude's got a spear and a oh, change shirt. Wow. Oh. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Run up come in with your longsword. Uh, are you before you roll damage? Are you using? You have your shield in your longsword, right? Yeah. Okay. I was just checking because you can hold your longsword in two hands. But mm -hmm. okay, so your shield, longsword. Take a swing at him with the longsword. Go ahead and roll damage. Boop. All right. So five damage. Okay. So you you slash him in the back. Uh, he shouts in pain. Actually, uh, Adam, I was uh, in a rage. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I get real angry when I'm pretending to be drunk. Yeah, you, you slash him in the back, and he, he shouts in pain, um, and like whirls around with his uh, with his spear. Uh, turns around with his spear, um, and now if everybody wants to roll initiative, you can. Um, we can. God, um, I was really hoping for just a clean decapitation. I know. I was. I, I know. You were. I rolled a fifteen, but I didn't have my thing selected. Sorry. Yeah, let me roll my initiative. Okay. We need to clear the initiative order too. Yeah, let me clear it first. Just, just there. do the whole thing uh, over again. Whoop. And okay, roll in, everybody roll initiative. Choop. And I'll add one. Okay. It's worse, but whatever. Okay, so I got a 12. <laughs> it's not like someone's going to die because of this. You know. <laughs> you know. That's fine. <laughs> you know, I one at a time. Uh, and then what, uh, Ramus, you had a 17? Well, technically, we don't know what timing this is happening with the fight that was going on, and he had a conversation. This is like 20 minutes after this, the fight. This is after the fight? Oh, yeah, totally, because you waited a half an hour. Uh, so you left while he was having the fight. So this is, I guess it's like 15 minutes after the fight. You're definitely not going to show up during, or you would have already. Oh, boy. Um, I feel real bad about what may have befallen yeah, well, thankfully, these guys are, like, not the murder someone in their sleep type, so. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so Ramus okay. and Berg, you get to both go before this, this guard. Now, the guard shouted, so there, it's, he's raised an alarm of some kind. Someone heard him. Okay. Um, I will go ahead and cast uh, Bless on the three of us. Okay, sure. All right. What does your magic oh, look like at nice. night when the sun is, is hiding somewhere else? Uh, at night, the, uh, the the light comes from the warmth in my heart, and just oh, wow. it expands oh, yeah. from within. Oh, and 
because it keeps on close to my heart. What's, what's, what's great? What's great about that too is that like when normally when people like if someone were like, oh, this you're gonna meet my friend Ramus. He's a cleric of the sun. People are like, oh, amazing. I'm so excited. Then Ramus shows up and they're like, what the fuck <laughs> is this guy about? Because <laughs> normally, yeah, it's all about like warmth and radiance and you're this obnoxious jerk off. Hey, so I good. feel good. I, I know, I love it. Blind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Okay. Uh, so uh, you, you cast the blessing of the sun uh, upon your... Uh, upon yeah, your the companion. three of us. Cool. Okay. Um, that sounds good. Uh, do you want to move? You're, you're just outside. You're probably like 10 or 15 feet away from this guy. Uh, if you want to move. Uh, I, hey, am I standing in the middle of the street right now? You all are. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I will move up to the side of the building. Just uh, still out of reach of him. Okay. So you just kind of take a step back. Yeah. Okay. Just so I'm not like in the open. Sure. Sure. Uh, cool. I'm just getting something set up for... Okay, Berg, what do you want to do? You want to make another attack on him? Yep. All right, buddy. Rock and roll. Not quite going into a rage yet. Uh, Fwap. 20. All right. 20, yeah, you hit him. Roll, uh, roll damage. Six. Okay, okay six. that's enough. Yeah, you kill him. Uh, Berg's so just like, all right. You, you slash him <laughs> once, <laughs> he turns around with a spear, and then what do you? how do you kill him? Literally just going for the quickest, you know, most silenced action, just slicing his head right off. <laughs> okay, yeah. cool. So he turns around as the next swing is coming at him, and he just right through his, yep. uh, through his neck. A <laughs> squirt of blood. Grunt. Yeah, there's a metallic thunk as his, uh, as his head hits the ground, the helmet. And then, and then immediately, Berg just grabs the head, literally grabs the head by his scruff. <laughs> like, his helmet body. falls off. And he just it. goes, we go now. <laughs> Good job, Berg. <laughs> Berg can well, Berg's like Berg's like let's move. <laughs> yeah. Do you have to hold that? It doesn't just he's got there's no time. And I just like turn and start yeah. running. Right. Towards the body the is squirting blood all over the ground. Bird. Your mind's yeah. eye just if Pat, imagine Berg grabbing he has the scruff of the guy's head in one hand and holding like the corpse dragging along. Well not, I guess well, Berg's pretty fucking strong, so he's just gonna pick him up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can grab you can grab the body by his belt and drag it. Uh, you could probably get it under your arm. He's wearing heavy armor though, yeah. so he's trying to not leave tracks. Is what he's doing. Yeah, I mean, you cut his head off, so <laughs> <laughs> there's this whole aorta listen, thing listen. or whatever. His blood splattering in the middle of, the room is out of his like neck. Drag trail. Yeah, there's a long trail of blood. You are covered in his blood if you pick up his body because his neck Burn is pouring blood. Real smart right Perfect. now. Okay. Yeah, no, it's good. It's good. You're covered in you're covered in blood, and there's a trail of blood that you're dragging along. All right, so yeah, I, I start. How far are we from the building, the blacksmith building now? Mm, you can. I think you can see it from where you are. If you if you like dash, if you just run full speed. Yeah, I, there, I think there. at this point Clock, I'm worried. Clock, clock. That something, <laughs> something's not right because the guards didn't know if he got caught, the guards weren't aware of it. If he's mm -hmm. still in there, then something's wrong. Cause it's been a while now. Uh, so I like mid stride, uh, start to get on all fours and turn into a dire wolf and fucking just jump on the door and jump in into the room. Right. Berg seeing this too, just like, fuck it. Yeah, <laughs> I think we all move as quickly towards the blacksmith as we can. Yeah. And sure. I, I move it. I move at 50 speed. Yeah, so you get there feet. first. I get there sure. first, yeah. All right, so we see we see the group of you. Uh, are you just running, like, the straightest path is, like, down the street in front of the tea house? Yeah. I, I'm okay. not, I'm I'm mad dashing it there. Yeah. Okay. Well, Berg's just kind of falling. He wasn't planning on doing that, but seeing that, he's just like, all right, and then chucks the body off to the side, like, if he can, you know, side of the whatever yeah. building, maybe in sure. between some buildings or something. Okay, so you want to take a, a, a second to like hide the body in an alley? Not really hiding in the alley. Just, like, kind of like, <laughs> <laughs> just throw it. Okay, you just yep. toss it aside. Okay, uh, and then you all run. Um, and I think that we see we see the the tea house as you dash past it. First, the dire wolf, and then a few seconds later, uh, <laughs> Berg covered in blood. And, and Berg's Ramus. just going like this. <laughs> yeah, go running like by. Then a cleric of the sun just. <laughs> And yeah, and there's just this guy in in his like big hat, like taking a swig of some whiskey out of a out of a gourd, and he just looks up, kind of tips his hat up. We see the the tattoos and stuff on his neck, and he watches you go by. Just kind of shakes his head, like the hell, like leans back against the wall. <laughs> um, 
and yeah, you you run up to uh, you run up to this this shop, and uh, I think you can smell with your your wolf senses. Um, you smell blood, like freshly spilled blood, before you even get there. You can smell it in the air. Right. Um, you smell uh, the dog uh, from before. Is uh, the dog sm- in the path? <clears throat> um, the dog's sit, like outside, uh, sitting outside, chewing on something. If the dog is in the path, just a very quick bite to kill the dog and then go inside. <laughs> <laughs> so there's this dog who's like chewing the turkey run up Revenge. and i guess yeah berg, berg when you and ramus arrive yeah um there's the dire wolf is just mauling this dog and like shaking it around in his neck also i dog. just want to say as berg's passing this guy because he still doesn't really know if the drunk bit is up he, he turns to the the mysterious stranger with the tattoos and says i'm drunk and just keeps running. <laughs> <laughs> says that i'm drunk right now <laughs> just like blood everywhere totally <laughs> yeah it's beautiful uh, yeah, he, yeah, and then an once they're all there, I, I basically like quote kick in the door as a wolf. I basically oh, like, so you wanna, yeah, yeah, like the, the door is um I think it's open uh slightly. Yeah. Um okay. Uh, and you just wanna like burst in. Yep. Okay, all right, cool. So you yeah, you throw yourself against the door, the door swings open. Um yeah, you can you can smell blood uh inside. There's some of it like splattered on the floor. Um and there are two uh, two bodies uh, lying uh, on the ground, two dead guards. And there's arrows kind of like sticking out of various surfaces. everywhere. Yeah, just everywhere. Because we fucking missed. A so you, you just hear you hear the wolf go, "What the fuck?" <laughs> <laughs> it comes out more like a Scooby Doo noise. But yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Totally. Ruh row. Um, and uh, yeah, and then Berg and, and Remus, you uh, you show up. <clears throat> I, I immediately want to use the keen hearing and smell to do a perception check to see if I can figure out where, where the fuck, mm-hmm. what mm-hmm. what happened. Yeah. I just want yeah, to I mean, perception check. I think check. You, can, you can try to pick up um, uh, Janice's scent. Yeah. Uh, perception is is plus wisdom. Or no, perception uh, is plus three on this. Okay, so I can roll it. Yeah, yeah uh, and you've got advantage because you're, you're a wolf. Yep. Uh, let me switch over to the screen. 21. Okay, sure. Um, so, yeah, that's that's fine. You you can pick up the scent. Um, yeah, so, again, blood everywhere, different people's blood. Um, the, some of it definitely Janice's. Uh, and uh, it leads to the back room. Like, you can smell his, his scent uh, that way. There's also the smell of, um, like, fear sweat in the room, too. There was... So something happened here, obviously, if the arrows and the blood weren't enough uh, for you. Okay. Uh, and it seems like he's been yeah, dragged to the back. Do you have any other like questions? Anything else you're looking for particularly? Uh, do we see the bracelet anywhere? Uh, no. No, just uh, woodworking tools. Um, you can smell the... There's like a forge somewhere in the back, so you can smell like um, the, the the smell of the, the charcoal that's used to power the forge. Um, smell the, the iron... Uh, and uh, the oil that's used to treat the tools. Okay. Uh, I think I just continue following the smell of Janice. Yeah. I think I tell uh, when we arrive, I, I look at the room and notice that the back is the back room door shut right now. Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, I, I motion to Berg, like I point at the door. I'm like, <laughs> again, to, <laughs> that he needs to bet that they're probably in there and that he needs to charge in there and we'll back him up. Yes, Berg does that. <laughs> we're yeah, charging they're... into where, where were we charging into? The back room. Yeah, the back room. The, the tool shop. Okay. All right. Yeah. I don't okay. need to. Do I need to roll for this or just? No, no, no. It's just. I mean, it's just a. a door. I guess. Yeah. I mean, you'll you'll need to roll. Uh, but well, let's do that after the break. So we see okay. you. Are you are you gonna like throw your shoulder against it, or are you gonna like try to chop it down with your sword, or kind of like it's just a wood door, right? Yeah, it's a, like a. Yeah, I was just gonna use a shield and kind of body weight. Shield you know, bash it. Power. Okay, so that's that we see. We see you like crouch down, take a deep breath, and then charge the door drunkenly, covered in blood, uh, and then we'll we'll cut the break there. Great. All right, we got one hour left. We'll see what's going on with Janice. Hopefully, right after this, because uh, we have no idea. So we'll be right back. <laughs> Let's take this quick break. We'll see you guys then. <laughs> 